Welcome to Chemistry Revision on the Move Atomic Structure So we're going to have a look at the structure of atoms here and we're going to concentrate on the protons, neutrons and electrons and where they are in the atom So before we actually start that we need to think about what they are in terms of at least their charges and masses. We're going to use relative charges and relative masses. So for example the charge of a particle is relative to that of one electron where one electron has a negative one charge and the mass of a particle is relative to one twelfth the mass of one atom of carbon 12. So let's define our fundamental particles. So the proton, relative charge, plus one, relative mass, one, and its location is in the nucleus. So the neutron, relative charge, no charge, relative mass, very similar to a proton. Notice that these are not exact relative values. The, um, the mass of a neutron is slightly different to the mass of a proton, but its location is very similar in the nucleus. Protons and neutrons, which exist in the nucleus, are also known as nucleons. Electron, relative charge minus one. Relative mass, much lighter than either protons or neutrons. Um, sometimes you will see it as negligible uh, or zero. It is very light. I prefer to have one eighteen thirty-six, the mass of a proton, or you can say five times ten to the minus four. Its location is in a charge cloud outside the nucleus. We'll consider uh, electrons in a little bit more detail when we come on to electron configuration. We describe an atom of an element in terms of the fundamental particles, protons, neutrons and electrons. The element itself is described by the atomic number, which is given the symbol Z. Now this is unique to a particular element. It describes the number of protons in the nucleus of that atom. And whatever other fundamental property particles that you have in terms of neutrons or electrons, the atomic number defines the element that you have. So element number one with atomic number one is always hydrogen. Element with atomic number two is always helium. Whatever else you do with it, it's still helium. The second number is the mass number of an atom symbol A. This describes the number of protons and the number of neutrons in the nucleus. In other words, the number of nucleons present in the atom. Now, different atoms of the same element with the same number of protons may have different numbers of neutrons. These are described as isotopes. So an isotope will have the sa same number of protons in the nucleus but different numbers of neutrons or nucleons. Now we can show this symbolically if we have an element symbol let's say X. This will have a mass number A and you will notice it's a superscript that goes before the symbol and an atomic number Z which is a subscript before the symbol as well. Now the chemical symbol and the atomic number of course are directly related to each other. So for example if Z equals 3 the element has got to be lithium and therefore that symbol will be Li. But isotopes may of the, isotopes of the same element 
may have a different A number because atoms of the same element, in other words with the same number of protons, may have a different number of neutrons. So isotopes will have the same value for Z but a different value for A. Now isotopes will have the same chemical properties in all cases because they have the same number of protons and the same number of electrons. The number of neutrons may change but that will not affect the chemical properties.